Good morning. All right. So we're going to be still in Isaiah 41. And we're still seeing how we're on our 58th day of fear not. And I'm hoping that as we're getting close to hopefully the end of the pandemic and the shelter in place and all of that stuff, that you're seeing that there's no need to fear that God's got this, that you have always been in the palm of his hand and that God is going to see you through it. So I'm hoping that's where you are today. If you're not that where if you're not there, I hope that this verse and this uh, portion of scripture will help you. So let's go ahead and pray and then um, we'll get into it. Lord, I just thank you for this day. I thank you for your word. Thank you that you love us, that you care about us, that you meet our needs. Lord, I ask for forgiveness of my sins. I ask to be right with you. I ask that you would continue to guide and direct me. I pray that you would bless those that hear your word. I pray that they would apply it to their lives. I pray that they would use any and every opportunity to share it with others. And I pray that you would get all the glory and honor in Jesus' name. Amen. All right. Oh, thanks for whoever's watching. Okay, so we again are in Isaiah 41. Today's verse is verse 14. Now, we had been in the New Living Translation before I had been in the NIV. Um, the New Living Translation was a little hard to understand, so this hopefully is the easy reader version, so it gives you a little bit um, more easy to understand wording, okay? So the verse says, People of Israel, descendants of Jacob, you may be weak and worthless, but do not be afraid. So though it says people of Israel, though it says descendants of Jacob, we as children of God, when we accept Jesus Christ into our life, we are adopted as his sons and daughters. So we become part of the people of Israel. We become part of the descendants of Jacob. So though it's identifying this group of people, and you may feel, well, I'm not, I'm not of those people, you are. Because as a child of God, we can accept all the promises God has for his children. So you may be weak and worthless, but do not be afraid. Now, is God calling us weak and worthless? No, we call ourselves weak and worthless enough, right? We can see ourselves and we see all the negative and the world loves to tell us all the negative about us, right? All our weaknesses and all our worthless things. And so we listen to those things and we allow those things to mold and shape who we think we are. But God is telling us, do not be afraid. So I myself will help you. We are not being helped by like a servant or like a hired hand. God himself comes to help us. This is what the Lord himself says. I am the Holy One of Israel, the one who saves you. God is the one who saves us. We are not left to somebody else's agenda. We are not left to uh, at, at, the, at the mercy of others God is the one that seeks us out and that saves us that is why he sent his son Jesus Christ to die on the cross rise again ascend into heaven and give us hope of eternal life that is how he saved us so we are the people of Israel we may think we are weak and worthless or the world might tell us that but we do not need to be afraid we have we have the help of God and we know that God will save us. So what is our aim? What are we trying to learn from this? In fear, we seek, in fear, we see weak and worthless. And we don't just see it in ourselves, we see it in others too. When we are fearful of a situation, we wanna point out the negative in other people. We want to put them down so we feel exalted, right? So when you find yourself pointing out the weakness and worthless in others, and when you find yourself finding the weak and worthless in yourself, you should stop and think, what am I fearing right now? What is, what is my fear? What is causing these thoughts? Because they're not of God. God doesn't do that. That's not how God sees us. So in fear, we see weak and worthless. In faith, God is our help. God is our salvation. That is what we need to cling to. That is where our hope lies. That is what we need to place our foundation on, right? So how can we apply this? We can apply this by, Lord, when I feel weak and worthless, remind me I'm not alone. I have your help. I am saved by you. You are a child of God, so you are not alone. You have help. You are saved by God. Be at work in 30 minutes. So, 
God has given you this day to be able to understand that you do not need to fear, that he is there for you, that he loves you, that he's there to care about you, he's there to meet your needs, he wants to save you, you're not alone, he is your help, do not fear. So I hope that that strikes you today, I hope that that uh, gives you a different thing to think about and that from there you can continue to grow in your faith. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow, God bless.